guy kept saying, this is a freight train and we're on it. Here we go, and there's no getting off, and we're just going to take this ride. And we got through it, and he did really well. I had follicular cancer, lymphoma, which is a very slow-growing type of cancer. There were ups and downs. It does a number on your psyche, on the patient, the spouse of the patient. So we dealt with that. Chip had lymphoma that recurred after two lines of therapy in and around one of the major blood vessels in the abdomen. Patients with highly refractory lymphoma are very difficult to cure even with stem cell transplant. We were the 20th center in the U.S. to be qualified to do CAR-T therapy for lymphoma, and he was our second patient. For myself personally, I get motivated by action and knowledge can't know as much as the doctors, but try to know as much as you can and try to see if there's hope out there. Those things help. Knowledge tends to take away fear. My wife loves the research, so when the oncologist told me, we're going to try to get you into the CAR-T treatment, we had familiarity with it. You can find research studies on what's going on, and I thought, okay, this is something. It just sounded like a magic door had been opened. They've taken your white cells. They managed to spin it down to T cells. They put it in this special little cooler. The representative is there and they sign off. I'm handing this over to you. Our understanding was it went on a plane that day out of BWI airport, flew to LA to the Kite Labs. They infuse it with a retrovirus of some sort, which changes it and then they're able to insert what they need to do to change the DNA of it. It puts these little receptors on there. Within four months, the PET scan showed that I had no cancer activity. The cancer that was in my vein was gone. There was no sign of it. The tumor that was here, Dr. Airport said over time, just degrade itself and be absorbed into your system. It is now almost four years out from treatment and continuing remission. I'm looking forward to every day. I don't take anything for granted. Grandkids, I want to be part of their lives. I want to play softball with them or play soccer with them, maybe coach their little league team. And it's all because of Kite. There's so much happening right here today. You can kind of stay right there and it's enough. For me, it is. <laughs>